Hi everybody! I found that some of you wanted to practice drawing by watching my videos, so I felt I needed to say something in this video. At present, my videos are not some painting lessons, just some videos documenting the painting process. Because the original purpose of my video recording was to record my own painting process. Just like writing a diary, other people use ink to write a diary, and I use paint to write a diary. So when I re-examine the method I used in my drawing videos, I can check if my drawing method is not mature enough. In the beginning, the videos I posted on this channel were only watched by me, but now the audience is not just me. So I feel that I need to say in my videos what I was thinking when I was drawing. Otherwise, you will not understand what I was thinking and、uh, why I do it. In this video, the scene I drew is a picture I took with my camera when I went out to play, and you can find the reference photo in the link below the video. I used burnt umber to draw a general shape first. At this time, I will not worry about details. I only plan to get a reasonable perspective structure. When I paint the sky, I mix two pigments: filler blue and、uh, sky blue. The sky is characterized by dark areas on the right. And the light areas on the left, so I will gradually reduce the use of blue paint. For the brightest part of the sky, I used titanium white mixed with a small amount of ivory black. I used the dioxins purple and filler blue to mix titanium white, and added a small amount of ever black to reduce the color saturation. The color mix of the lake is very simple. Mixing very little dioxins purple and cobalt blue in the titanium white, but not adding ivory black. I used lemon yellow, yellow ochre, and、uh, filler blue when I painted the light in the waves. I mixed a small amount of lemon yellow in the titanium white because in natural light, there is very little light in the solid color. So if you only use white to draw the light. The color will look boring.
The color to paint the tall grass shadow is burnt amber mixed with cobra blue. The two colors will be black when mixed. But I want to make it more blue, so I mixed more cobra blue in it. For the color of the tall grass, I used yellow ochre, lemon yellow, mixed sepal green, and added some titanium white to reduce the transparency of the color. How was the color of the grass mixed? I forget, but uh, it looked like uh, I used uh, titanium white, yellow ochre, fellow green, sap green, burnt umber, ketamine orange, and uh, a small amount of ever black. I think this color is burnt umber makes a small amount of every black. Or maybe add some cobra blue? I'm not sure. The second layer of the color is to make the color layer look more perfect. And when I paint the second layer of color, I use less white paint because too much white destroys the saturation and make the painting color look weird.
This dark shadow is burnt umber mixed cobalt blue and uh, add very little titanium white. This green highlight is lemon yellow mixed some uh, sap green and uh, add very very little cadmium orange. I'm not mixing colors here. This paint just titanium white. Okay, let we start to draw gross. This dark gross color is burnt umber makes fade green, cadmium yellow, and uh, very little ever black.
these colors looking green, but they are actually lemon yellow. That hasn't been mixed. This is my first talk video, so I don't know what I need to say. If you are watching here, I appreciate your watching. At the end of the video, I want to say, as you can see, I'm drawing a bird right now. Let me show you a draft of this painting. When I finish this painting about the bird, I will start recording a video about painting the peony flower. Thanks for watching my video. Спасибо за просмотр!